Allah tak tahu. Okay. He's looking right at us. What is it? What are we looking at? It was in the film. Isn't that a uh, deer? He's watching the window go by, see? Smart burrow. Are you filming any of this, Andy? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> He's following us now. Where's my... The little burrow. Burrito. We're all in trouble. I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah. I Not to the size, but if I ever shoot that, I will get bit, and I know several of you are going to be amused by that. So ready to go ahead. Those guys are going to stay for right now. You're going to let me know if they move, right? Okay. okay. All right. Now, so make sure that head's nice and straight facing you. Don't want him to see us coming. I see some of you have your cameras waiting. That's great. Well, we will need that for the insurance. But otherwise... All right. Okay. Sleep. 
There's one coming. There's one coming. <laughs> They're so sneaky. Okay, so first thing we do when we sit on the alligator, um, you put your knees in their armpit. Um, you turn your feet inward, kind of back behind their hind legs. And this kind of helps restrict their movement. It stops them simply walking out from under us. Um, and also you notice right away I covered up the eyes. When you cover up the eyes of your alligator, it kind of seems to help relax them a little bit. Um, we're not sure exactly why. There are some theories that covering up those eyes kind of calms them down, makes them want to go to sleep, and might even make them think they're dead. So then I wondered, what happens if you cover up just one eye? Are they half dead? <laughs> no, they're really angry though. Know. On the alligator's throat, if you can see it on this one, you come back later, see any of them on, even on TV, see them with their mouths open, you can't see down their throat, that's because the back of their tongue, now it acts like a valve, it allows them to open their mouth underwater without actually swallowing a bunch of water. So the only way you're going to see down an alligator's throat is if you catch them yawning or if you're on the way down it. So, that's not funny. Don't laugh at that. So the last thing we're going to do is show you how to hold their mouth shut. If these guys do get an injury that we need to get closer look at, we're simply going to move them somewhere else. Uh, we want to go ahead and secure their jaws. So we'll grab their jaw line way back here, force it shut, slide our hands forward, and then rock back with their head. Now holding their head back, that does further help restrict their movement. I'm going to stop them from backing out from under us. If he did do that, he would sit on my back and show you guys how to hold my mouth shut. Um, it is also at this time, <coughs> excuse me, we could have someone else who works here come around the front and tape it shut. Problem is if I could get girls to chase me like that, it'd be great. <laughs> okay. So we got a couple of people feed them in the water. I'm um, with their tongue, kind of acting like that valve. Um, they can't swallow it below the surface. So they're going to go down, find that piece of meat, uh, bring it back up where they'll make that chewing hey, motion. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, I know, he's sneaking up back there. Here, come here. Come on, Lieutenant Dan. Let's go. Oh, look at him. I'm sorry. Your piece is down there. There. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Hurry, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Alright, I give up. <laughs> You stay. Okay. Now, uh, he'll find it eventually. Oh, we got one more piece. Um, let's see. Not so <laughs> what are you guys laughing for? I can die. I'm just laughing. All right, we got one more piece. We're gonna see if these crocodiles want it for a change. Yes, finally. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my bad. Here, here, buddy. Quick, quick, right there. Aren't they so cute? I just wanted to give you a kiss. Okay, that right there though, we're gonna see if we can get his piece back. That right there is the last piece of chicken we have for these guys. <laughs> they don't really care, they want the other white meat anyway. So, you're gonna have to back up. I'm trying to help you. You're sitting on it. Keep going. I'll feed it to you in the water if you go in there too. You stay. Here. You didn't even get it. There you go. Did you get it? Neither one of you got it. Come on. There he goes. Okay. So that's the last piece of chicken. Um, you are going to notice that we don't feed them all at every show. Um, since these guys are a large cold-blooded reptile, they have a lot slower metabolism. They don't all get hungry at the same time. Two-year-old American alligator He's just like all the alligators in here, a lot younger, smaller, and much more manageable in size. When these guys are born, they're only about six to eight inches in length. Um, the mother will protect the young for the first couple of years. It's possible she has to protect this year's young, the ones that hatched out last year, because they'll pretty much come back and try to eat their siblings. So if you have a brother or sister out there, you should be really thankful they are not trying to eat you. But same thing applies, if we brought this guy out here, if he stayed out here in the water, he would not last very long. That's why he's got his own little pond in the back. We do have some tape in my pocket. We're going to tape his mouth shut real quick so no one gets bit on accident. And we'll bring him between the two fences for you guys to go ahead and pet if you want to. I mean, you can take pictures, ask questions. Otherwise, that is the end of this show. The next show is that bird show at 4 o'clock. Thank you all for coming out today, and I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> Thank you.
the way vines bounce in the wind. Look how beautiful this snake is. Isn't that amazing? They're thick. Oh my god. It's US to Mexico. Big old cobra. I know, where's the front? Bro, here's the head right here, underneath this branch. Oh yeah. You don't see them go up, but... Green, man. Hey there, little guy. Green and a condor. It's a big Burmese. That thing is probably... That thing looks 30, 40 foot long. No, it's probably about 17, 18 feet. Huh? Oh, these things are long. Yeah, this one and the green one over there. Probably the most poisonous snakes in here. Wow, oh, this one's about 8 feet long too. And this is two. Pretty face. Dangerous snake. capture these things very carefully oh man that's it yeah little guy these are from India and Southeast Asia right yeah yeah Ooh, look at his tongue look at his tongue looking for the air looking for the noise that's a big one yeah no, they're not exactly friendly. You can keep them as pets though. Let's see how thin his neck is compared to his body. That's typical of rattlesnakes. They're very short and fat. Yeah. There he goes, there he goes. Oh. Hey guy. <laughs> 